Now let's take a look on how to export different playlists to a different DAW, let's say Logic Pro X. And again, in this case, I have three different takes that were recorded on three different playlists. This is number one, number two, and number three. To export multiple playlists, I'm going to select the one that I want to export first, and then by pressing Shift, I can click on the other ones that I want to export at the same time. So in this case, I'm exporting my three playlists, one, two, and three in one shot. To export the files, you're going to press Shift, Command, K. Select the right file type, format, bit depth, and sample rate, and select the destination. Finally, click Export, and your take will be saved as separate files that you can re-import in your other DAW. After I exported my playlist from Pro Tools, let's take a look at how to import them as takes in Logic Pro. Here I have a new session where I have created some audio tracks. The first thing I'm going to do is to import my audio files. So here they are. These are the files that I exported from the Pro Tools playlist before. Just going to drag them into Logic. And here I have my three audio files. I'm going to make sure that they start right from the beginning of the project. And at this point, I need to pack them into a single take folder. To do so, make sure that you select them all and then right click on one of the regions, go to folder and select pack take folder. By doing so, now I have my three playlist files all on the same track but shown as logic takes. At this point, I can proceed to simply comp a take as I would do in Logic Pro. Now let's take a look at the scenario where I need to import multiple takes from a drum kit recording where I have multiple tracks and multiple takes. So the first thing I want to do is to import my first take from the recording. Here I have all my tracks from take one. So I'm going to select them all and import them into Logic. I'm going to select Create New Tracks. And I'm going to make sure that they all are lined up right at the beginning. Now I'm going to create a group for all my drum tracks. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to select right here Group. I'm going to start a new group and I'm going to call this group drums. In the settings for the group, you want to make sure that the track alternatives is checked on and eventually also the editing selection. You definitely don't want to have the volume and the mute. Color coding also is a good option to have checked. The group allows me to make changes to all the tracks at the same time. If I don't have my track alternatives option for the tracks here, I need to right click on a track and select track adder components and make sure that the track alternatives is selected. Now I can see the double arrow that allows me to create new alternatives for each track. Again, always with my group selected, so all my tracks now are belonging to the same drum groups. I'm going to create a new alternative. Now I'm going to import my second take. Here's my second take. Again, I'm going to select them all and I'm going to drag them again on the same track as before, making sure that they start right from the beginning. At this point, I don't need to select new tracks because I already created the tracks. So I'm going to choose use existing tracks. 
if I have more takes, I would do exactly the same. I would create a new alternate and then I would import the new take. Once I'm done importing all the takes, I'm going to select all the tracks and I'm going to choose show inactive. This is showing me now my two takes for each track. Take one, take two, and so on. Take one, take two, take one, take two for each track. Now I'm going to disable the group and I'm going to choose the two takes for each track. And once I've selected my two takes for my hi-hat, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose folder and choose pack take folder. The shortcut is Control Option Command F. Remember this shortcut because it's going to simplify your life. It's going to just make the process way faster. By doing so now, as you can see, I basically moved my alternate into a take folder. Now I'm going to do the same for each track. At this point, I can get rid of the alternative tracks that have no audio material on it. And now I'm left with basically two takes for each of the tracks. Make sure to remember to bring back the group drums. So now when I'm editing my tracks, I can simply comp between the two takes for each of the drum track. So I would have take one or take two, depending on what I need. And so this makes the comping process really, really easy and very, very efficient. Now let's take a look at how to create the perfect comp take in Logic Pro. In this case, I have a bass that has three different comp tracks. So, in order to choose the perfect take, I'm going to listen to each take separately. Now to listen to another take, I can simply swipe with the take selector tool across the take. And to select the final take is as simple as just swipe it across the take that I want to keep. final take will is the one shown at the top of the other takes. This is my comp take. If I want to hide the different takes, I can simply tap right here on this arrow. That will show me my comp take. And I can see that this is my comp take because it's in the name right here. If I change my mind and I want to go back and change it, I simply tap the small arrow there and I'll see my comps again. At this point, once you made the final decision, I always recommend print it, your comp take to a separate track. And to do so, you can just tap there where it says A, 
and you can select export active comp to a new track. Now I have a separate track right here that has all my comp takes. The beauty of Logic is that it allows me to not only create a comp but also to create different versions of a comp. So if I like this one but I want to experiment a little bit farther, I can simply tap right here where there's the small a that is showing me that I'm looking at comp A, but I can duplicate it. And now I have two comps, A and B. And on comp B, I can experiment a little bit farther and see that maybe something works better. And I can always switch between the two. So it's really, really easy to comp in Logic.